In this shortcut tutorial I will show you how to create a pan and zoom slideshow. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in shortcut. I've left a link to my beginners tutorial in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I should be using version 181118, so yours, if it's an older version, may be different. Okay, well, I've brought four pictures into the playlist folder here on the left hand side. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag my first picture into the timeline. Now, with slideshows, um, you need to sort of try and think how long you want your slide to pan and zoom for. The greater the pan and zoom, the longer you want your clip to be. So the standard format here is about four seconds, which is fine for a standard clip. I reckon people probably lose interest after four seconds of a picture that doesn't do anything but if you're going to pan it you might want to increase it a bit so if you place your marker over the right hand edge and hold your left mouse button down you can just drag it out so in this instance I'm going to drag it so it's about eight seconds long now another thing make sure that you're right up to the start and also your marker is at the beginning so just hold down ALT and your left arrow button to do that or you can come up here as well left click on this arrow here or button up here OK with your first clip selected go into your filters box and left click and left click the plus sign now normally you would use a size and position button on a lot of um, sort of editors but it's it's a lumpy old thing in a shortcut the easiest one is actually to use the rotate and scale so left click on rotate and scale and this is where you must always be at the beginning of the clip because whatever you do if if you're in the wrong place it will literally start so let's say I always zoomed in halfway here this clip would be stagnant and then zoom and change at the end so always start at the beginning unless you need to change uh, a movement in the middle um, which you can do by putting more keyframes in but we're just going to go for two keyframes one at the start and one at the end so Typically what I would do, on the odd occasion I do um, a pan and zoom, is I sort of scale up the image. So you can use your left mouse button in the bar, so just hold down your left mouse button and just gradually increase the size. And if you want a more sort of smoother, slower scaling action, if you hold your mouse over the numbers box, right now this one says 134.5, you could then roll your mouse to get a bit more of a better or smoother sort of um, scaling. OK. X and Y. X offset is actually the X axis which goes from left to right or right to left. Y is up and down. So I want to bring this down slightly. So what I'm going to do it's not changed the x-axis actually so that was wrong sorry it's the y-axis I'm gonna start again okay back to beginning sorry if you that's a good point actually if you ever want to go back to your original um, sort of settings in fact we'll do that if you just sort of left click on the circular arrow it'll go back to your original setting so let's scale this up again so I just take it up to about there in fact that will do for that um, now I want to bring this down so I'm going to use the Y axis and bring it down and 
until it's reasonably okay and then I'll roll my mouse in the numbers box until it's not looking too bad okay now again make sure you're at the beginning and before you do anything else now it's something that looks like a little clock and this is how you set your keyframes so although we didn't use rotation just until you get used to this left click on each of these keyframe boxes now if you come to the end of your clip by holding down alt and your right arrow button or going up here as well you can now start changing things so let's say I want to scale this up a bit more so we'll zoom in a bit more and hide a read and we'll bring it down and then use the middle mouse button to roll it a bit and I want to bring her more into the middle oops gone wrong way so that's not too bad okay you don't need to do anything now because you've set your keyframes up at the beginning so if you go alt and your know, left arrow button and then play you should have your first pan and zoom and that's not looking too bad okay now at present your timeline will be set at keyframes so you'll need to left click on timeline and then you'll have to go into your playlist to do your next one so let's bring in another clip drag it to the beginning and then alt and your left arrow button now you gain you need to decide where and how you're going to zoom this and what how long it's going to take and you're probably only going to get this by practice but I don't know let's change the speed or the time I'll take this one up to 10 seconds I think that'll probably be about right there's nothing worse than a slideshow that zooms across it'll also um, drop frames as well so again making sure you're right at the beginning and the second uh, image is selected go into filters left click on the plus sign and left click rotate and scale so I'm gonna scale this up quite a bit actually and we'll move it down yeah about there move the x-axis this way okay that's not too bad in fact I'm going to scale it up even more Get, you can roll your mouse in the box that's got the numbers in it as well as use the slider just to get that final especially if you're close to the edge and we'll go down a bit oops so yeah we'll go with that okay and again make sure don't click on the arrows the round arrows click on the clock so left click to create the keyframes again alt and your right arrow or again up here and then decide what you're going to do so let's go over to the right hand side scale it up even more god knows what this is going to look like probably quite pixely but that's not the point of this yeah.
anyway, you get you get the rough idea, you get the gist, that'll do. Okay. And again, because we've already set the keyframes up, you just go into your timeline and then alt in your left arrow button. You should be able to play your next clip and it should pan and zoom. Okay, back to timeline. And then playlist. Bring your next clip in. Drag it over. Make this one, I think, eight seconds long. That will do. And again, filters. Rotate and scale. Let's scale this up to fill the frame. Center it a bit, and then left click on the little clocks and see now I've gone wrong here. I'm actually that see if you look at it, I've set me a marker up here and it's in the middle, so I'm going to press Alt and my left mouse button, and I'm going to reset these. and scale it up again so we'll take it up there like that and that will do I think I'll take the scale down a bit that'll do for that and left click and this will remove all keyframes for this parameter so press yes do it for all these this is assuming you've made a mistake and click them all again okay alt right arrow and I'm going to scale this up even more and I'll move it over this way. In fact, I'll scale it down a bit and move it like that. That'll do. I've already set the keyframes up, so hopefully I've made a slight mistake. Alt, left arrow, and play this one. and that's looking okay back to timeline playlist we'll bring one more in drag it so it snaps make sure you're at the beginning alt and your left arrow button filters plus rotating scale and again I'm going to scale this up so that it fills the frame or the monitor and also I think this is going to have to be 10 seconds long as well because it's quite going to be quite a long pan so I'm going to drag this out to 10 seconds and using the Y I'm going to Y axis I'm going to just drag this to the sort of top of the frame all your mouse in the box as well just to get that fine tweak um, that'll do left click on the clock keyframes because I, unless you change the rotation you don't need to bother but just have habit do all four alt right arrow go to the end and all I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to just whack it all the way down to about there. Now if I press Alt and meet left arrow, in fact I'm going to go to the timeline and I'm going to press home to go to the beginning and play this through just to see if it's working properly.
apart from dropping a few frames because we're in this render mode we're not sadly shortcut doesn't work with proxies proxy editing is a lot better but anyway it's not a bad program yeah that's looking not too bad not rushing forward or anything um, yeah I'm quite happy with that so uh, now we need to do export top of the screen little button choose your format export file and then just basically go into your folder that you created at the beginning like I said if you haven't got um, a basic understanding of a shortcut there is a tutorial in my playlists or there's a link below the description um, I'll come back to this when this is finished rendering up the top here okay well this is finished rendering got it taking the green box which tells us this now hopefully we should if we go into the folder have a slideshow that plays like this okay I've probably zoomed in a bit too much on some of these images but anyway you, you get the gist of how to uh, create a slideshow this is jumping because I've got too many processes running on my uh, graphics card but uh, that gives you an idea of what you can do we'll cut shot when it comes to making a um, slideshow hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers